Okay, um... I've never had to do a video about something like this before, but, uh... i got some bad news as Vikings fans today, and I know it's not about football, but, uh... Um, Jeff Gladney um, turned, turned himself into police after being charged with an assault of his girlfriend. Um, the stuff I've seen, it, it's um, it describe you know describes in quite a bit of detail the assault. I mean, it's like it's like Chris Brown shit. You know, assuming it's true, I have no reason to believe it's not true. Um, like Jeff, Gl 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 Jeff Gladney can go fuck himself, as far as I'm concerned, and I know that that's a very majority opinion. Um, it's like I could say, "Oh fuck, why?" Did fucks up the football thing, like, yeah, it's, it's a problem with football, but I mean, like, how stupid, like, I know, like, there are football players and athletes just in general who have done stupid shit to jeopardize their careers and, you know, in some cases cost them careers, um, I mean, I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't put this with, like, Aaron Hernandez or something like that, but I mean... Guy's a first round draft pick, has a pretty good rookie year, you know. Um, he was upstaged by Dantzler a little bit, but I mean, he, he certainly was going to go into this next year probably a starter. You know, you know he's got he's got year, years ahead of him where he can earn millions and millions of dollars, and because of some fucking fight over some text messages that his girlfriend was receiving, he just fucks it all up, like. What the? F it's like it's a good thing that I don't understand the mentality that that sort of thing. It's a, you know anyone who doesn't you know doesn't understand that mentality is probably better off. Like like what the fuck is what the fuck is you think? And I I guess there were some some character concerns with him coming out. I don't I don't follow the lead up to the draft like some people do cuz night cuz most of these people who they talk about leading up to a draft, you know, things aren't going to draft anyway, so why why bother learning about them? Um but I I just don't get it, man. And I know it hasn't it's you know, this is probably just he's probably just a bad human being. You know, I don't think this is like, oh, he just did like a momentary thing, a ma momentary mistake. You read what the read what the um, what the uh, the police report is. Like this was this went on for a while. This was not like just snapped and like hit 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 her for like a second. Like it, it's not that. It's like this this went on. This was op you know even if it wasn't premeditated, it you know he had time to stop what he was doing. So, yeah, I mean, you know, he can go fuck himself, and the, we'll see what, the, what you know, you know, he turned himself in, which isn't an admission of guilt, but I mean, otherwise he, he would have, I mean, there would have been an arrest warrant, he would have been arrested, but, um, so I mean, this will all play out over months, probably, um, you know, I see tons and tons of responses to this from on social media from Vikings fans just saying cut him. They're not going to just cut him. And I, and I know it doesn't sound it sounds heartless to be like to just say to say that you're not you don't want to cut him. Like like I wouldn't just cut him. I mean I don't even know what the ramifications would be for like salary cap and all that. I mean I'm sure there's some like scenario. I, I'm sure there's something in a con in contracts. 
like sometimes these days where they can like void a contract. I don't know. I mean, but you know, it sounds heartless, but I mean, you look at some of these players. Like the name that popped to mind is Antonio Brown. Like it was like celebrated last year when the Golden Boy brought him to Tampa Bay and they go and win a ring. Like Antonio Brown's a piece of shit. You know, and he's still in the league. Tyree Kill's a piece of shit. He's still in the league. You know, there have been other players that have done, you know, fucking Ray Lewis murdered someone and played for another decade. Like, I mean, I... You know, it would be a thing like, you know, assuming this all pans out and is proven true and, and you know, You know, is he worth? Is he worth keeping for the for the blowback? And there would be a lot of blowback from people if, if you know. I mean, I you gotta assume there's gonna be some sort of suspension at least. You know, whether he's like convicted or not. I mean, you, know, you don't have to be convicted of of something like this or anything to be given a suspension. I would assume he's gonna get suspended. Like that. I mean. You smoke weed, you get suspended. Of course, you're gonna get suspended for this. Um, so, I mean, but I wouldn't cut him. I mean, it it does it, it does them no good to just be like, okay, we're gonna cut him. And and look, they might cut him anyway. I don't know. Maybe they can void the contract or something. It's gonna piss me off though because you know this guy's gonna still play in the league. He's isn't. No one gets banned from football. Nobody. You know, you could say Ray Rice. Well, that was, I mean, that was already kind of at the end of his career. You know, and that wasn't like a premium position. Like, it, it, it sounds fucking heartless, but it's like, you know, no matter what, he's going to have a chance to still play in the league. And it's going to piss me off if, if, you know, like you're damned if you do the right thing like the right thing is probably to cut Jeff Gladney today like right now but you know then he's gonna you know serve a suspension and get picked up by some team and be a, a you know a contributing player you know and maybe some people are fine with that anyway like you know hey would rather have the you know the, the moral high ground I mean I guess I don't know but I mean like no one, no one held it against Tampa Bay that they went and got Antonio Brown. Like they, they purposely went and got Antonio Brown. So I mean, I don't know. It's a bad. It's just a terrible situation. You know, like as a fan, how do you, how would you root for Jeff Gladney again? Like it's impossible, right? But. I don't know. We'll see what happens with that, but I mean, you got you kind of have to assume that his chances of playing in 2021 are at least in 2021 are incredibly slim. Um, of course, everyone's making the joke. Oh no, Zimmer can draft another cornerback. Can we stop with that fucking joke about Zimmer drafting cornerbacks in the first round? Yeah, he's done it a couple times. Guess what? You should you should draft defensive backs in in the NFL these days. But um, you know, I don't I don't know how this impact would impact the the rest of the Vikings offseason. I mean, they've they've made a couple additions in the in the secondary, so maybe they could survive it in that respect. I mean, I certainly think this makes Mike Hughes much more likely to stick around there you know there started to be a lot of talk about them maybe just cutting him um you know i don't know that it how much it affects you know their draft plans obviously the drafts in what three weeks um but uh so i don't know that of course people are blaming like people are like saying oh way to go way to go rick for drafting this guy 
You're blaming Rick Spielman for this fucking guy? Are you kidding me? How the fuck is he supposed to know? Like, he was with the team for a year, all last season, didn't do shit, and now, you know, three months into the offseason, he goes and beats up his girlfriend. That's Rick Spielman's fault. That's Mike Zimmer's fault, because Zimmer wants the guy, like... You know, it's a fucked up situation. The only person who's at fault is Gladney. It's not Rick Spielman's fault, it's not Mike Zimmer's fault. I'm sure Score North will blame Kirk Cousins for it somehow. But... So, I mean, it just pisses me off. Like, why the fuck? Like, there's, like, I don't expect athletes or any, you know, anybody to be, like, absolute saints, no pun intended, not the saints, but, you know, but, like, this, this shows a level of just, not just, like, I guess you could say evil, but just a level of stupidity on his part, like, when he's, when he's got, you know, chance to have like 10 years plus in the NFL, make millions of dollars, and that might all be gone now. Um, but yeah, so it fucks, <laughs> it fucks us up, because we've been having a pretty, you know what, maybe that's why it had to happen, because we've been having a pretty damn good off season. And now this happens and throws it all into chaos. I mean, I... I mean, you know, the, the fate of the 2021 season is not resting on what Jeff Gladney is able to contribute, but... Um, like, every every fan who's... who's I just, pissed off at Jeff Gladney. Have has every right to be pissed off at Jeff Gladney. I believe this is true. I believe that Jeff Gladney's a big piece of shit for doing what he did. You know? And maybe I'm some sort of bad person for thinking they still shouldn't cut him just, you know, not yet. I mean, some of this might take care of himself. I saw that, you know, he could, that, you know, this, he would be facing prison time. So, I mean, if he's in prison, he ain't playing for for the Vikings. But, you know, you see some of these other fucking players in the league that just do awful shit and, it, that not, you know, nothing's ever done about it. So, I don't know. It's just a terrible, it's just a fucking terrible situation. So... The Vikings put out their pre r statement, it kind of just the standard thing, like we're aware of the charges and we're look, you know, we're aware of it, and we have no comment. You know, they're not going to do anything yet. I mean, there's really nothing to be to be gained from just you know from just you know cutting him now. I mean, I guess it'd be good PR to do it. I mean, it'd be you know, and maybe it would be the right thing to do, but. I don't think I don't think they'll I don't think they'll make any sort of move like that. I mean, you could put them there's like a suspended list, whatever that thing they put Adrian Peterson on years ago when he got in trouble. Um, but uh, yeah, so hey, Jeff Gladney, fuck you, you piece of shit. Personally, I hope you know. I don't know, maybe it's a contradiction. I don't want them to necessarily cut him right away, see what happens, but I also really, you know, kind of hope I never see, see, see that punk-ass motherfucker put on a Vikings uniform again. So, I don't know. It's a bad situation. It's just, you know, what can you do? <laughs>